calls it the de design stamina hypothesis, and he uses this chart to uh, illustrate it. Now, uh, try, look at it in pieces. So the vertical axis is for cumulative functionality. It's like how much you get done uh, over time. Time is on the horizontal axis, so time is passing from left to right. There, he draws two lines on this chart. That orangish one is how much you get done over time if you do design. And the blue line is how much you get done over time if you don't do design. Now, as you can see down here, early on in time, it's probably a bad idea to do a lot of design. You don't really know what your app's about. It's, it's, a, it's a waste of effort to do design. But there comes a time that if you continue, if, if you don't do design late in the project, then you're also wasting money, right? There, so what you really want, what we, what we would like to do, if you want to be most efficient about writing code, you want to be on the no design line up, up until this inflection point, and then you want to start doing design as soon as you know enough about your application to know really what it's about. And what that means is here, this is an inflection point that you, where you should change how you write code. You should change how you do business. Um, the problem, of course, is that it's really hard when you're living with your app on a day-to-day -day basis to know exactly where that inflection point is. And if you start out, if you start out following the design stamina hypothesis and you're doing no design, it's really easy to end up way out here and where velocity is dropping to zero. This is when people call me, all right? But many of you are probably in, if you're doing OO, many of you are probably in, a, you've already crossed the inflection point and you're doing business the old way and you're finding that your velocity is slowing.